You want to be alone? Come to Wyoming. <laughs> Nobody lives here. I'm down nearby Sweetwater Station, out looking for sapphires. All that pink stone there, in case you're wondering, is that sapphire? Well, I read somewhere that uh, you can find rubies in uh, quartz schist. As far as I can tell, this looks like quartz schist. Anyway, this area isn't on any records, any geological records that I could find, but it's clear to me that years ago, obviously a really long time ago, people were digging and they trenched right through these veins of quartz schist. You can see it running kind of like gopher tracks. And in some of them, you can find little garnets. I've almost found a pea-sized garnet, so let's see if I can collect a few more, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what they were digging for. That or rubies or both, and it looks like they got them all. All right, this is my second attempt at finding sapphires in Wyoming. As you can see, it turned out into a wet day. It's soaked through two pairs of my pants and it's going through my gaiters and starting to crawl through my boots. I went to the GPS location where there's supposed to be sapphires. It's just a flat dirt open hill and there, there wasn't anything there. So I just checked the couple outcroppings in the immediate vicinity. Nothing. So it's been a bust today. Big mistake of pulling into a kind of a low spot, so I backed up a bit thinking that, that would be adequate. But then it rained all day and snowed all night and pooled up and I could only back up literally a few inches. So I tried going forward. Those tracks you see are not me going forward. That's me flooring it going backwards after I took the come along and the toe straps and took one of these conveniently placed steel bars on the side of the road that marked the location of a culvert. So I've made 10 feet progress. I think I just got to do this once or twice more, which was difficult pounding that sucker into the ground with this tiny little hammer. <laughs> 